Hi viewers, or Izzy, if there's any way you're seeing this. I don't want any hard feelings whatsoever. I know we're not friends because you were bored, and that's fine. I saw it coming, and I really don't care anymore, at least. So don't take it to heart, even though you probably will. I'm just super confused as to why you didn't want to be friends with me and Evan anymore, so I'm just gonna, I don't know, just prove some stuff in your I don't want to be friends anymore message. Alright, so first off, the fact that you thought this was the most unhealthy friendship slash relationship you've ever been in? Listen, Izzy, did you totally forget about all your past relationships? Like, I don't know, maybe everyone in Lucky's community? Maybe Lucky himself? You know, the guy that mentally abused you when you two were together? And me, you, and Evans' friendship is the most unhealthy friendship you've ever been in. Seriously, Izzy, are you sure? Look, I get that you're mad for some reason, but like, at least take a second to remember. Like, come on. Okay, another thing. You being mad, I was talking to Sour. For those of you who don't know who Sour is, it's this one person in Lucky Day of Sour's community, I'm not gonna explain who he is, who like, was over-sexualizing themselves even though they were a minor and it was like this big situation. And like, I, I, I'm, I'm friends with her right now because she's fun to talk to and I really don't care what Izzy thinks. So yeah, that's basically who Sour is. First of all, you have no room to speak because you're talking to River of all people, which I know the actions she did in the past were stupid, which no, River posting over my vent about Buddy fucking dying isn't stupid. I'm still hung up over it. You're getting so butthurt over me talking to Sour when the drama with River was stupid, but guess what? So was the drama with Sour. And yes, I know that Sour has told you to kill yourself twice and, hold on, insulted you multiple times? Izzy, come the fuck on. You're upset that I'm talking to Sour because she was acting like your basic person on the internet? For real? Like, someone telling another person to kill themselves is like the new go fuck yourself on the internet. And you're upset that I'm talking to someone that insulted you? Really? Or are you upset at me because you want to be? You really aren't used to an insult on the internet now? That's very surprising, considering the fact that you're older than me and, well, not more mature than me, but you should at least be able to take a goddamn insult. Anyway. Okay, so you telling Evan that NOT EVERYTHING CAN BE ABOUT YOU AND YOUR SISTER! So when has Evan ever made everything about me and him? The only time he's done that is when... Wait, I'm trying to think. Wait, no, I can't think of anything because it's never fucking happened. I don't remember him doing that at all. You're just trying to have dirt on him for no reason. Like the entire reason we aren't friends anymore. Like, your logic has to not be sound to be sound? What the fuck is this, the impossible quiz? Also, when has Evan ever made you think that only his opinions matter? Back in March, you were acting like he was just so stuck up about his opinions when he really wasn't. Is it just because he voices about what he feels? Is it because he's not afraid to express his feelings, unlike you? He's male, get used to it. Okay, about the whole drawing porn thing. Oh, here we go. He would always shove it in your face because you can fucking appreciate my art! See, this right here even made me upset when I was friends with you. You used to like my art so much back in September of last year. What the fuck happened? Why do you just brush it under the rug and only say shit like cool and shit like that? The only other reason I can think of is because you're jealous. You're jealous that I'm way younger than you and can draw shit like this and you can't. Hey, listen, we all got our strengths and weaknesses, but at least have some goddamn sympathy when it comes to that. Because imagine how I fucking felt. Can you? Because you can sure feel sympathy for the worst people when they just feel a little sorry. And him trying to get you and others to like it was because you couldn't fucking appreciate it. I'm proud of that shit, you know. And I know for a goddamn fact you aren't uncomfortable when it comes to porn because you literally drew it yourself. Also, you're getting weirded out by this because he's sending it instead of me. Like, whenever I'd post my NSFW art, you would be all fine and dandy with it. But since it's Evan doing it, you have a problem with it now? He's just fucking sticking up for me because you're too jealous to realize that I'd like a bit of appreciation now and then. And plus you're acting like he's allowing me to do it. Like he has any right to tell me what the fuck to do? 
Even if he didn't want me to do that shit, I'd still do it anyway because I'm my own goddamn person. Look, me and Evan don't have the get out of my room twerp relationship like you and your brother do. We're literally just friends that happen to be related. So get over it. You're just making it weird because you can't face the fact that he's actually supportive of my art and he realizes that his art isn't good and he's not afraid to admit it. You're acting like that me and Evan have just been mistreating you the entire time that we've been friends, but no, it's really you that has been treating me and Evan like shit. You're acting so hostile towards us for what? For fucking what? Because you feel like it? Yeah, because you fucking feel like it. Because you're just this wishy-washy crazy bitch who can't decide who she likes and who she doesn't like. And then again, you're acting like him liking my NSFW art is weird and creepy. You're just taking it out of context for God's sake. He just likes it because he actually admits to knowing how much talent I have and he can come to terms with it. It's not weird, you're just making it weird. And I know that this isn't the end. I know that you're gonna try and contact me because you're you but I'm not gonna have any of it. Just like you, you for now at least, I'm done. I don't like being swept under the rug and I'm sure you don't like that either because you crave attention and because me and Evan couldn't give it to you because we didn't have internet all the time, it just wasn't enough for you. So come crawling back, I don't fucking care. Just know that I'm done giving you chances. I'm done convincing myself you've changed and I should give you one more chance because you haven't fucking changed. You're still the stuck up bitch you were in 2020. Because if you're gonna keep acting like this, your whole life in the real world is gonna be a real treat if you keep acting like you are on the internet. If the internet doesn't become the whole world. Well, if that's the case, I'll kill myself way before you do. Hello, AZ. I know you said not to contact you, so that's why I'm reading this here. There's no telling that you'll see this, but if you do, let me just say this. You're not the victim here. I specifically spent a week away from you just because I realized what you do to my mental health. I haven't done anything other than be supportive of my sister and voice my opinions on probably three things you disagree with. And yet, just like March, I'm the bad guy. Yes, of course. <laughs> your logic makes sense. Me going out of my way to try and help you get out of your constant back and forth relationship with Beru, me really trying to make an effort for you, me literally buying you Nitro three times, and hell, even me accepting you back into my life back in April because I thought you had changed. Apparently, all this doesn't matter. All because I specifically don't like the people you talk shit about to me and Ella. It makes no sense to me, though nothing really does on this hellhole. And since you spend practically all your time on it, maybe that explains why you're so wishy-washy. I'm serious, Isabella. Has it seriously never occurred to you that the internet could be what's making you so suicidal and what's making you feel like shit all the time? Look, I spend one week away from it and I feel like the happiest man alive. All it took was for me to stop associating myself with the internet for one week, and I feel happier than any of you fuckheads could ever dream of being. And I know, you think that you would feel awful if you ever did that, because you just really like talking to these people you secretly hate. But in reality, you probably wouldn't. I genuinely believe you would be able to find happiness and be a fulfilled person if you didn't give in to this horrible thing and start to try and figure yourself out. And if you don't do that soon, it's pretty clear to me that you'll never be happy. Look, I'm not mad you don't want to be friends anymore. Quite the opposite, actually. What I am mad about, though, is the fact that you're trying to spin me and my sister's relationship out of context. You have to realize, I'm so supportive and proud of her solely because practically no one else is. Why do you think I share her drawings with such pride? Why do you think I get so offended when people like you don't look at one of her creations and actually have the strength to own up and proudly say, Man, that is way better than anything I could ever do. But you don't have that type of confidence in yourself to do those things. That's why you don't spend more than a sentence on her art, and that's why you try and spend her drawing porn as this terrible thing, when it's really not. She's expressing herself in this other form of art, and since you're so stuck up and self-conscious, you can't even bring yourself to support it. You try and make up excuses for why you don't want to be friends with us anymore when you don't even bring up the biggest thing. We don't praise you enough. Because you're constantly comparing yourself to my sister and just really beating yourself up. And when we aren't even on the internet half the time to try and reassure you and make you feel better, that really gets to you. And as Ella keeps getting better and better at her art, and you really fail to see yourself in the way that you see her, it really starts to taint your opinion on her, and eventually just makes you want to cut her out of your life completely. And that's also why your excuse for not liking her is her doing the same exact thing you do. A person will hurt you more than you can ever imagine, yet a month later you're announcing that you're talking to them again because they said they're sorry. <coughs> Forever, I'm lucky. You have a mental dysfunction that's most definitely been caused by your home life. Your abusive father, your mother that won't even help or listen to you, and your brother that your parents clearly show favoritism to. All this, combined with everyone you talk to on a daily basis online, 
It's what's making you feel these ways. And it just makes me so sad to think that helping you will never help. Because I've tried so many times. I've tried so hard to finally see you as a happy person and cheer you up and make you feel better. But after last year, that just didn't seem to work anymore. Your mental state started to decrease more and more as you just started to become more sensitive and hostile to the point you accused me and my sister of controlling you and trying to always pry our way into your life when we really have never done any of those things. Look, Izzy, I'm extremely angry with you and I don't ever wish to talk to you ever again. But that doesn't mean I don't wish the best for you. I truly do. Because at the end of the day, no matter how much of a stuck-up, jealous cunt or a crazy bitch who can't get her shit together you come across as, it's not your fault. Well, I mean, maybe a little, but you get my point. I just hope your life will improve eventually. And you won't end it early just because someone on the internet is harassing you. Or something like that. I don't know. You're you, so. Look, I'd like to say it was fun because I truly did think of you as a best friend. But I'd be lying. Because the person I thought of as even my own sister at one point wasn't even being themselves to begin with.